What's up, everybody? Devilor here yet again with uh, with my good buddy uh, Kazianoma, who uh, who has been my, my my partner in crime through all of this. This is the finals of the Kazilor SC2 tournament. What's up, Kaz? How you doing? Yo yo, I am good. Trying to Hi. see who's gonna win in this there? tournament. <laughs> hanging low, hanging low. Nice. <laughs> and we are in scrap all right, station. So, uh, yeah, scrap station. We got newborn here at the the eastern position on the map. Uh, not the position you want, Ezerg. Unfortunately, he wants to be able to build a spine crawler at his entrance instead of just. Uh, as you can see here that the creep doesn't actually reach all the way to the ramp. Kind of a dumb little map imbalance that I wish Blizzard would get around to fixing. But anyway, uh, enough about newborn. We've also got detriment spawning as a purple Protoss, of course, in the north position, as this is a one player or a one v one map and uh, not a whole lot of places to choose from for where your opponent could possibly be. So Overlord is now moving its way into into Detriment's base. Of course, this is very, very normal. You want to send out your Overlord so you can see things, because sight is generally pretty important. And at the same time, we have a, a probe scout. It's actually a, a kind of weird. Newborn has opted to send out a drone scout as well, which is actually going to get there after his Overlord. So it's probably kind of a waste of, of mining time to send out that drone scout. Uh, everything that he sees with his drone, he also sees with the overlord. So, um, kind of a kind of a weird choice to make. Probably just a bad habit of playing on other maps. You know, scrap station, very unique map with such a close air distance, like you said. So the overlord could have done everything, and he could have kept that drone to himself, or at least left the drone over at the Zonaga Tower so he could spot for him or something in case of an early rush. And finally, we are seeing a 14 hatch out of Newborn. Uh, kind of. Kind of been disappointed not to see that for the rest of the for the rest of the game. Uh, Zergs love to do that as much as possible. We see that all the time in the GSL. Even though uh, even though Artosis will constantly tell you that you cannot ever possibly under any circumstances go hatch first in any matchup for any reason whatsoever, uh, the the top Zergs still like to do it. Uh, so now we're finally seeing uh, Newborn do it as well. This is a very, very Zerg-friendly map in this matchup. A lot of uh, a lot of Zerg lately have been saying, oh no, it's actually a Terran-favored map. But unfortunately, this is not a TVZ, this is a PVZ, which means uh, Detriment uh, is not a Terran. So, so great choice in map by Newborn. He really knows that he needs to stop the bleeding at this point. He needs to, to hurry up and win this this tournament or else, uh, or else Detriment's going to overtake him. Yeah, no, uh, no random chance cross position, close position kind of stuff with Metalopolis and Lost Temple. He can, he knows where he's gonna be. He knows, hopefully, he has a plan, a build order, something that he's gonna execute here that he can do pretty safely with the long rush distance. This hatchery is just now finishing. He's getting a queen at his natural uh, queen, about halfway done at his main as well. Uh, he's getting a handful of zerglings out. Honestly, I, I I don't like those zerglings. I feel like that's too many. He could have just gotten a couple and done or done a little bit of uh, of poking around. Especially since he he's actually inside Detriment's main right now uh, with his drone and sees that there is actually nothing coming whatsoever. So I I don't really know why he felt the need to get those zerglings out. That's uh, that that could have been three drones instead. It it could be. It could be that since he sees there's no units, maybe he's going to try to get a little aggressive with the six zerglings. I mean, uh, he sees that there's a stalker, but the six zerglings can kill the one stalker. So maybe he's he's trying to go on the offensive, but instead he's just sitting those zerglings outside of his base. Yeah, he's actually moving them down now to the Zelnaga Watchtower. He's going to be able to kill that probe. Uh, and it looks like he it looks like he is actually going to move in here. Um, Maybe, 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 maybe. Okay, yeah, he is actually going to move in here uh, and, and see what he can do. Unfortunately, uh, uh, Detriment has walled himself in here. Uh, very com common tactic on this map. Uh, you wall in at the bottom of your ramp. Excuse me, at the bottom of your ramp instead. Uh, so the Zerglings are going to try and poke around a little bit. But there is a sentry and a stalker here to, to chase them off, and they're going to run away. With uh, with their zergling tails tucked between their legs, uh, I actually don't know if that's something that zerglings do, but I imagine them to be like puppies, cute and cuddly, uh, except for when they eat your face. So uh, just look at this little zergling in the corner here. Oh, you look so cute. Fangs and horns. Mm. <laughs> just want to hug them. Yeah, every zergling matters. That's my motto. <laughs> so uh, second gateway now coming up. Uh, did he actually? He just canceled something. 
Uh, I think it was just a pylon. Or maybe it was a cannon. I don't know. He cancelled something and then decided to, to rebuild a cannon down here. Uh, meanwhile, the, the natural for uh, for this guy. Newborn. Here, newborn. I'm actually looking at the name on my screen. The natural is actually uh, up and running. He is He's getting himself a little bit supply blocked and he has his... Uh, uh, his queen just sitting there not building, which is what was confusing the crap out of me because there was an extra bar that I didn't recognize. Uh, but his layer is just now finished as well. He's he's getting out more and more queens, so maybe he he feels like after that last game he does not want to lose any early void ray pressure again. So he wants to get out some extra queens. He will be able to like spread his creep around and stuff with that. Uh, and he's getting a spire up and running as well. But uh, you know his his queens are actually pretty good job. It, it, it does look like Detriment is getting a Stargate. I don't know if he scouted that Stargate. I don't think he did. I think he killed the drone first, but with this close air rush distance, air is always a problem, and uh, with his Zerglings parked outside of Detriment's base and that kind of wall in, uh, no, no ground attacks were probably going to be expected from Detriment for a while, so I think sending that over, or building those que extra queens is probably a pretty good idea. Yeah, he knows, he knows with them walled in, uh, obviously he can take out these destructible debris at the back and then still have an exit, uh, which is which is really the, the common tactic when you wall in like this. But um, he knows that, he does have an overseer heading out as well now, he, he knows that void rays are scary, so he wants to get something up, uh, especially with this spire not yet completed, he wants to get something up just in case some void rays come out to help deal with that. This target is just now finishing. We'll see. Uh, the Overseer is going to spot that spot that, uh, that target there. Uh, and there's nothing in production yet. It looks like he's just now starting a Phoenix. So, um, hey, hey, hey. Contaminated something that something was doing something. Something that was something. doing something. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, <laughs> looks like this Overseer is pretty screwed, though. There's a lot of units that can shoot up here. Might be able to get away. No, it gets one last shot off from that Stalker, and it falls. So, um, unfortunately, however, he did delay that, that Phoenix coming out by quite a bit. Uh, unfortunately, that Phoenix is probably not actually going to be that scary. He, he, can, he can fly it around a little bit and maybe try and pick off a couple of Overlords. Um, would like to see Overlord speed being researched, but it doesn't look like he's doing that yet. And he is, of course, transferring his probes over to his natural now, which means it is now completely up and running looking great. I would like to see him get those couple of gas geysers just because Protoss tends to be so gas heavy. Uh, but uh oh, in the meanwhile we've got four Mutalists coming in from the back here. He's going to be able to come right back up into the main here uh, and start taking out probes. Takes out one probe. This, this Phoenix is up but unfortunately one Phoenix pretty sure does lose to four Mutalists unless you do some really really fancy micro uh, which does not... Oh my god he has nine hit points. One more volley from that those Mutalists and he is dead. He needs to move that away if he wants to not lose it. Unfortunately, the Mutalists have decided to move back as well, or I guess I should probably say fortunately for, for detriment, the Mutalists have decided to move back. There are a handful of sentries and stalkers here now, uh, so those Mutalists are not feeling too hot about sticking around, uh, but that, that one Phoenix did take quite a beating in the meantime, and uh, nothing uh, o overall that was a decent harass by... Uh, by newborn, I think he did manage to kill a handful of probes uh, and did not lose anything in in return for it. Zerg flying attacks upgrade is being upgraded. Zerg metab metabolic boost is coming up, and uh, looks like a, another hatchery is getting thrown down somewhere out. There it is. Uh, newborn is taking his third spreading creep, doing very good things while. Detriment is pumping out more phoenixes. He now sees that there are mutas on the in play, and he has two stargates. So heavy phoenix play. Yeah, uh, and it's very interesting. It looks like um, looks like uh, newborn is getting out some corruptors, uh, which are are pretty strong anti-air against uh, against Protoss, just because they are they are armored. Uh, they don't take a whole ton of damage. The, the Void Rays tend to do pretty good against them, but only if they can get charged up. Uh, and otherwise, uh, otherwise the, they just do, they do actually beat the crap out of Phoenixes. So I believe they outrange them as well. So interesting little play there. Um, would be very, very, or would not be very surprised if he decides to eventually uh, move those, once he gets up to a Hive Tech, eventually turn those into, uh, into Broodlords. Uh, the phoenixes are out here. There's only one corruptor here, and it looks like it's going to fall. But it does take out one, uh, 
No, the Corruptor actually lives. It takes out one Phoenix in the, in the meantime, and uh, there are a handful of units here. Is he going to be able to kill that Corruptor? Uh, yes, he does finally kill the Corruptor. just barely does not get out in time. And now the Phoenixes are moving into the main of Newborn here, coming in here, trying to take out some some uh, some Mutalists, but unfortunately there are Queens there. Uh, and he, if he's not careful, he's going to lose that Phoenix. It's down to nine hit points at this point. There are a lot of Zerglings, though, uh, compared to... Detriment's actual ground army of just five zealots, three stalkers, and four sentries versus fifty-three zerglings. If if he if the zerglings can somehow get through, like you said, breaking through the destructible rocks or you know hitting at the front while the mutas hit in the back to distract the area, the other ground units and the phoenixes, he could very easily sneak those units up into the into the base. And unfortunately for detriment, six phoenixes or five phoenixes, not so good against zerglings. It looks like Detriment is now uh, killing this pylon at his front here to be able to open up his front. Honestly, I would have liked to have seen him leave that wall there and kill this destructible debris instead. Makes a much easier to defend uh, attack path. Uh, but he, he, he is continuing to get out Phoenixes. He's continuing to uh, pump out, uh, looks like mostly Zealots for his ground army. Uh, and uh-oh, over here in Newborn's base, we have... That's an evolution chamber. Where Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Bane Bane Lings. Lings coming out. Yeah. Bane Lings. <coughs> Bust out into Justin Bieber. <laughs> it looks like um, those phoenixes were down trying to mess around with these uh, this handful of corruptors and mutilists a second ago, but got pretty much. Uh, God, this is a noisy thing. That thing makes so much noise. What? What thing? is that? Right next to these corruptors and mutilists here, there's this like big thing, power just generator spins thing, spins around and makes a ton of noise. That is distracting. I actually think the phoenixes that were chased off by the mutas, but they were uh, they were actually picking off a. I think they killed two, maybe three overlords, and newborn was supply capped for a few seconds. But I think he already had some overlords on the way, so. And that is a lot of Banelings. I'm curious to see if he's just going to try and bust in the front. He actually doesn't have to anymore. I don't think he knows that he doesn't have to anymore. Yeah, he, as far as he knows, that, that pylon is still there. Uh, just, just move in. Oh, he did just now spot that that pylon isn't there. Uh, with those couple of Zerglings that were sitting right outside his base. So, um, meanwhile, looks like uh, looks like Detriment is thinking about breaking down these middle rocks here. There is creep spreading across there, so uh, so Newborn will see that as soon as it happens. But, uh, no, instead he's just going to sit there and, and look at the rocks contemplatively. He's actually going to try to move across them. Okay, there we go. Now attacking the rocks. <laughs> um, Newborn does have baneling speed and researching. I think it's a little bit more than 75% done, so uh, yeah, if, it takes, if it takes detriment long enough to break through those rocks on creep with baneling speed 19 banelings and it's gonna be scary i might have to start screaming like artosis <laughs> now there are these phoenixes in here doing a little bit of micro trying to trying to do something fancy take out a uh, take out a looks like they were doing some damage to an overlord i don't know if they actually managed to kill any of them uh, and they also took out a couple of those mutilists uh, so, so decent little poke from the from the phoenixes. I love phoenixes. They're they're one of my favorite units. Uh, Detriment now moving across onto the to kill this other rock here, uh, but he is on the creep. He uh, newborn knows that he's there. He's gonna be able to see this. He's actually uh, he's actually selecting his army and getting ready to move into position. He's got the banelings separating those out from the rest of the army. Uh, and this is a mostly light unit army here. This will get completely decimated by those Banelings if he decides to move in. And here he goes. Uh, Banelings are moving in. They're moving so fast. That, oh, Holy my crap. God. Wow. Banelings oh. are fast on creep, man. They, they are so man. fast. They just completely evaporated all of those Zealots. There's nothing but, like, six Stalkers left. Five Stalkers now. There's a bunch of Zealots left, but there's still a whole bunch of Banelings. They're going to try and move around behind. And they're just popping it. And oh my god, so many Banelings. So many Banelings! <laughs> Sparta Remix! He, he did decide to move back a little bit, but it looked like he was just trying to bait out these Stalkers. He's going to be able to kill one Stalker. There is that Photon Cannon in the back there, and a whole bunch of Phoenixes here. The Phoenixes are getting into a fight with the Corruptors. The Corruptors are coming out on top. Uh, the Zealots are now up there. There's one, two Banelings left trying to work their way around there. 
getting lost like a beach ball on the top of a sea of, I don't know what you call that. It was like a beach ball bouncing around at a party. Uh, either way, it looks like uh, it looks like Detriman's gonna hold this for now, but that was not a good trade for him. Twenty-three banelings so are getting oh war God. warped in right now, and there's still thir thirty-eight circlings. Wait, that means there's even more banelings coming in. There's twenty more coming on top of that. There's gonna be fifty-three banelings rolling across the map. I think he's just gonna a move the banelings and just roll straight through everything that detriment has this is gonna be exciting this is literally so many banelings <laughs> uh, he's warping in uh, warping in some more stalkers trying to get as many zealots up as he can he really does not have a good option for dealing with the banelings right now he's trying to get more uh, trying to get some robotics facilities up uh, not sure what the plan there is with those. Uh, by the time he can get those up, he will have lost. Uh, he will not, won't even have time to get the Colossi up, which I imagine is what he's going for because uh, Immortals are not known for being great against these units. But uh, here come the Banelings in here. And, oh, oh they're, they're getting followed up a little bit. They do manage to work their way through those Zealots. They're coming over to the Stalkers now and just, oh, my God, it's like a bat. A deadly acid bath. They're moving their way, rolling their way into the mineral line over here at the natural, uh, popping like crazy. So many probes are dead. There's there's five probes left. Yeah, at detriment's natural. Yeah, I'm actually gonna pull up the, uh, the income tab here. We are at 39 harvesters for detriment, 50 for for uh, for newborn here now, uh, and we look at the the supply, <laughs> 24, 22. 22 supply is really, really low, whatever it is. It's moving around a little bit. There's uh, 110 plus from... Uh, yeah. In fact, I, I'm kind of surprised. A second ago, I, I clicked on... Uh, I was looking at the harvester count, and it was actually higher than what his supply was when I, when I glanced over it, so that was kind of weird. <laughs> but uh, there's a whole bunch of Zerglings now just streaming into the base. There's one Mutalisk here as well, uh, just wanting to be part of the party. Gateways are unpowered. He's trying to get pylons up, but I don't think he's going to be able to do anything in time. This is going to be a good game. Yep, there it is. Good game. Congratulations. Well played out of detriment. We have a champion. We have Newborn, our Zerg hero, who has played, I think, seven Zerg versus Protoss games on his way to this championship. But he, <laughs> he, he has certainly crap. played a lot of DVP. Yeah. So yeah, Newborn is going to be our champion of the very first ever Kazilor SC2 tournament. Uh, this has been a lot of fun for hopefully everyone involved. Uh, so hopefully we'll be uh, doing something like this again in the future. There's a little thing called Cataclysm that just came out that's going to make it difficult to organize anything like this uh, for the very near future. But uh, I imagine we'll be doing a little bit more of this as well. What do you think, Kaz? Yeah, you know, I'll definitely try something. I mean, over Christmas break lots of people off maybe we can do just a weekend tournament but i think most of us will probably be you know trying to level our green skin characters to save yes. the world of azeroth I, I kind of hope that i will actually have time to get these up by by spring break just <laughs> because they, i have so much work to do in the near future but it's still a whole lot of fun to be able to cast these matches i'm really glad that this tournament happened and gave me an opportunity to do so and uh, and yeah, I think uh, I think we should go ahead and wrap this up at this point. Uh, thanks to everyone for watching. This was a, a fun tournament to cast. Expect more in the future. And uh, Kaz, you got anything to say before we take off? Thanks to everybody who participated. Thanks to the people who signed up initially, the donors of Tank Spot, who couldn't do this if it weren't for you guys. <laughs> especially without your support. You guys were the ones who kind of suggested to have Lore, you know, cast these things, and now Lore's doing them, you know, for you guys. Very fun. And, uh, you know, to everybody else who participated and sticking it through despite the kind of messy organization that started off in the group stages. So, you know, thanks, everybody, for participating and making this very fun for everybody who's involved. All right. Uh, I don't have anything nearly as long-winded to say. I just want to say that I am a huge fan of sweet tarts. I have a box of them, and I went through that box earlier, and, uh, and it's gone now. So I might have to go get some more of those. I might go put a pizza in the oven. Anyway, uh, I'm going to wrap this up now. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. I uh, will see you guys later. Adios.